Well, we all love to indulge in a Manny Petty often, but new research shows it could impact your health. Susan Hogan is here to break down a new study on the potential risks from gel manicures and what you can do to protect yourself before your next visit to the nail salon. Well, gel manicures usually stay on for about two weeks and they don't chip as easily as a regular Manny. However, they do require ultraviolet light to dry and researchers say that could potentially increase your risk of skin cancer. Every time you get a gel manicure, you have to put your hands inside one of these to let the polish dry. You can kind of think of them as mini tanning beds for your hands. And that's the potential problem. Dr. Kristen Kamismar is a dermatologist with Kaiser Permanente and says the dryers emit ultraviolet light. UVA is what causes premature aging, so wrinkles, dark spots, thinning of the skin, but importantly, it also can cause increased risk of skin cancer. A new study by the University of California, San Diego, and published in the journal Nature Communications found that radiation emitted by UV nail dryers led to damage in cells that researchers also see in skin cancer. In the study, researchers used cells from humans and mice and exposed them to UV light for about 20 minutes, which is longer than the one to three minutes a nail salon says it takes for a customer's nails to dry. The result? damage to the cells and the DNA. And they found that after 20 minutes, 20 to 30 percent of the cells died. And then the rest of the cells that remained actually had mutations in the DNA that are similar to what we see in some skin cancers. Researchers caution more data is needed to confirm these findings or to even say how many gel manicures you would need to increase your risk. But there are steps you can take to protect yourself at the salon. Maybe opt for a traditional nail polish instead, another type of manicure that doesn't involve a UV light. Save those gel manicures for special occasions a couple times a year. So you can apply sunscreen, broad spectrum, SPF 30 or higher, before the polish goes on and before you put your hands under the light. They do make gloves with UV protective factor built into them with the fingertips cut off. So this way, you know, you're getting your manicure, you're protecting the majority of your hand, not all of it, but you're definitely decreasing your risk by taking these steps. And when you take the polish off, Dr. Mismar says to look for images like this that could be signs of trouble. Any changes, discoloration in the nails. So that could take the form of a dark line, a brown line, a black line, even a red line in the nail, especially if it extends back to the cuticle. Um, any bumps in the nail, underneath the nail plate, a crack in the nail, or even any color change around the nail and the skin around the nail. Now the FDA says these UV dryers are low risk if they are used as directed. And for those of us who do like our manis, dermatologists say just be cautious and look for any sorts of changes within your nails. Keep an eye on them and don't wait to go to a dermatologist. It could be too late. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4.